The final thing we have to cover uh, about use cases is how you can share steps between use case bodies. And if we go back to our example, um, our example ATM use case diagram, which you can see on the screen now, um, we can see a few of these steps might share uh, might share beginning steps. For example, getting a user to check their balance, uh, getting a bank customer to check their balance or a bank customer to withdraw money will always have the PIN authentication step. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to have those identical steps in every single different use case. It just ends up using more ink and more space on the page. So there are ways of incorporating, of sharing steps between use cases. So like I said, those bolded steps there are shared between the withdraw money and the check balance. And so what we can do instead is we can create a new use case called authenticate. This contains all of those shared steps. And then all we do is we, um, uh, we add the authenticate use case to our diagram that you can see there. And then we add a line from the use case that in, use cases that include them to the new use case. So you can see the lines going from withdraw money, check balance and deposit cash um, going from the use cases that require them into the authenticate. And that just means the authenticate action is run through every time a user does the withdraw money, check balance or deposit cash. Now, this is good, but not fantastic because a user might check their balance and then decide to go and withdraw money and they shouldn't have to authenticate multiple times authenticating once should be plenty and so there is a second way of getting this relationship um, together which we will see now it's called using a precondition in this scenario um, the precondition might be something like oh the user has authenticated and if they have that will allow them to go through the withdraw money use case or the check balance use case um, and in this case, our authenticate use case would enforce that. So at the end of our authenticate use case, we would have this post condition, which is logged on. Um, the authenticate use case in this example is, says, we would describe it as ensuring that the post condition is true. If it is true, then this does not need to be repeated. This is what allows us to authenticate only once. So this is what this step looks like. We indicate a precondition uh, using this requires, and you can now see that the withdraw money, check balance, and deposit cash use cases require this logged on <coughs> precondition to be true. And it is the authenticate use case that ensures that that is true. So by laying it out like this, we say the, you, the, the bank customer needs to authenticate once. Once they do, this ensures that logged on is true. And once it is, our user can either withdraw money, check balance or deposit cash or do any combination of them in any order and will no longer need to authenticate multiple times.